Welcome to a very special holiday episode of Our Road to Camelot. I know Thanksgiving was just last Thursday, by the way. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Uh, but cranberries are good also for Christmas. So if you didn't get all your fill of cranberries or you went with just a can, yeah, I throw it, but I'm in my daughter's kitchen. I don't want to mess up her kitchen. Yeah, if, if you ever go to real cranberries, you'll never go back to that can ever again. So it's going to be all about cranberries in this episode. I'm in a real kitchen. How awesome is that? And um, we're going to get started in just a few seconds. So we're creating two different side dishes. One is going to be an apple, orange, cranberry relish. And the other one is actually over the stove to cook cranberries. Sounds like a lot of work, but you know, it's really not. You're going to see that this is a real simple dish to make. Both of them are. And you're going to wonder after tasting this, why did we keep buying the can? Uh, so anyways, uh, hope you enjoy this. We're going to go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to start with the relish. I'm going to clean my cranberries. I'm going to cut up my apples and my oranges. I'm going to measure out some stuff. <laughs> and we're going to jump onto the food processor and get it all put together. Um, when it comes to sugar, I just want to let you know right up front, um, this is uh, not a sugar-free type of a recipe. And to be honest, not every cranberry, Granny Smith apple, or orange are created alike. So the amount of sugar that is used in this recipe can vary a bit between the brown sugar, the honey, and the regular sugar in order to get it to your liking, to your level of sweetness. The last thing you want to do is take a bite of this relish and your face turn inside out. So let's go ahead and get started and start cutting things up. If there are any ugly cranberries in there, be sure to throw those out. But Amber just told me they're all beautiful, so we're good. So we're making one batch, which includes one orange, one apple, and one bag of cranberries. After it's cut up, we're gonna do the food processor, but we're gonna do half of the apple, half of the orange, and half the cranberries at a time to make sure they get properly blended. Then we mix it all together in the bowl. Okay, so this is basically how your cranberries, orange, and apple should look. By the way, yes, I did leave the rinds on the oranges. It adds for a little extra tartness. And now we are adding the rest of the ingredients. So uh, we're gonna be putting in some chopped pecans, uh, honey, brown sugar, sugar, and yes, we do throw in a can of cranberry sauce to add a little bit of extra texture in there, but that's the only time I've ever used cranberry sauce. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw the rest of it together.
first taste test. Always the important one. I don't get it on your shirt. Oh god. It's cold. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You gotta try it. Okay. Not with the same spoon. So that is the relish. Um don't double dip. I'm gonna I'm gonna wash the spoon and dip again though, because it is so good. Um yeah, that's basically all there is to it. Put it in the fridge, chill it overnight, do it the day before, and it turns out, oh, it's awesome stuff. Okay, on to the cranberries. All right, so now we are getting into the cooked cranberry sauce, and we're going to start uh, with probably twice as many cranberries than I normally do. So in the uh, down below, I have a single batch uh, but I found this really cool giant bag of cranberries, and um, we're going to go with that. So this is, uh, wow, this is probably about two and a half um, times the normal batch. So I'm going to kind of be playing with it as we go to make sure everything turns out right. But if you follow the recipe below, you're going to be fine. So once again, we're going to rinse off the cranberries. And we're going to take it step by step through the instructions as you see below. Uh, key thing you're going to be listening for is when we start cooking these things is cranberries pop when you cook them. Not like popcorn, but they pop. And it's kind of cool to hear those uh, popping as you go. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so we've got the cranberries rinsed. I diced up two remaining Granny Smith apples. And I basically got the rind um, of an orange all ready to go. Uh, we're going to start by measuring how many cranberries I actually have here and that'll help me dictate what's, uh, what size recipe we're going to go. So let's do this. One, Eight cups. Um, uh, we, uh, I, I'm still going to go with just the two apples. I probably could add another apple if I had it. Um, the orange rind, uh, we'll see how it tastes. I might throw some of the orange in. I'll just kind of dice it up and throw it in along with the rind. And uh, that should basically do it. So we're going to go ahead and add, uh, go ahead and add the apple juice. And we'll start cooking down the cranberries and the apples. So to adjust for the recipe, I'm going to be adding two cups of apple juice. So my cranberries are in there. And there's one. And two. I'm going to get uh, and throw in the apples right now because I do like the apples to be uh, a little bit softer. And the honey. Doing that, let's go ahead and put this on a low heat. And we're going to go ahead and uh, cook this down till the cranberries start to pop. Now, this should be about the remainder of the honey, which I'm guessing is about two cups, maybe a cup and a half, but that's about what we're going for there. Uh, if it doesn't come out quite sweet enough, we'll finish it off with some brown sugar. I'm really trying to measure it this time, so. <laughs> Gotta love working on honey. Let me let that drain down at the bottom. And we'll go ahead and keep this heating through right now. It feels like we're heating up. And we'll let that, uh, let that start. Go ahead and add one cup of brown sugar in there uh, because there wasn't quite enough honey.
We're going to go ahead and add a full cup of chopped pecans in there as well. Mix those up. And to be honest, I think we're going to add a little bit more pecans because they are kind of getting lost in all those cranberries, but in a normal recipe it would be one cup or half a cup. So I just added another half a cup, so it's a total of one and a half cups of pecans. That's looking good. I like the look of that. One, two, three, four. Four good dashes of ground cinnamon in that. I'm usually accused of just kind of winging it. So I'm kind of glad I'm making this video because now we can go back and see exactly how it's done. So it hasn't started popping yet, but it is starting to get heat, starting to heat up. Now, once it's done heating up and the cranberries pop, we're going to go ahead and add the orange um, rind and little bits of orange in there as well at that point in time. Um, let it simmer for a bit. Everything's gonna mix and blend together and it should turn out just amazing. Okay, hopefully we're gonna start hearing the cranberries pop. That was not a cranberry popping, that was a dog barking. Okay, they're getting soft now because they're, they're all starting to pop at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and add the orange in. And we're going to add one more cup of sugar. And another half a cup of brown sugar. Because you definitely want to have a sweet taste of the cranberries. And for good measure, just one more half a cup of sugar. It's just about there. Almost perfect. Just trying to get the last bit of that sharp tartness out of it. Now we started with such a large bag of cranberries. Kind of threw off the, the recipe, but if you follow the list below, you should be fine. Let it sit and come down to room temperature. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove it off the heat, off the side here, let it finish cooling down. I'm going to have to take the lid off. The consistency looks per the consistency. Uh, the consistency looks perfect. I did one last little bit of a taste. All the, the, the tartness is gone. We've got some great flavors with the apple and the orange and the cranberry and the nuts. Um, and this is basically your basic sauce. Now, once it gets to room temperature, we're gonna go ahead and chill it. It'll firm it up when that happens. And um, there you have cranberry sauce. So, yeah. <laughs> really good. Okay, quick little insert here. After letting it cool down a little bit, final taste test, still a little bit too tart. One more cup of sugar, yes. So um, add that all up. I'll add it up too as I edit and watch this, and I'll make sure I have all those ingredients listed below. Uh, so that's it again for this episode. Back to my other ending. Boom. So that's it for this episode. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, and then if you really, really like it, um, go ahead and hit the notification bell. You'll get a notification every week when we post a new video, Sundays at two. Um, 
I hope you guys are having an awesome holiday season. I know this is going to be like probably two cooking shows in a row if this gets on by this coming uh, Sunday. Uh, but um, we enjoy the, the sauce for Thanksgiving and, and the relish as well. And it's something that also keeps because you make so much, you can actually freeze it or put it in the fridge. Uh, actually freeze it and it'll keep to Christmas if you decide to do that too. But the fact that you didn't get a chance to make this for Thanksgiving, make it for Christmas. Uh, definitely a crowd pleaser. Awesome, awesome recipe. That's it. And I know we're not in the rig tonight, but you know what? We'll pick it up where we left off uh, next week. And hope to see you on the road. Safe travels. Thank you.